Glennon Engelman, he was a dentist by day and a hitman by night. Well-respected St. Louis dentist Glennon Engelman was not exactly what you'd call the most handsome man in the world. As a matter of fact, he was pretty uh, unappealing physically, uh, if you can just tell by the picture. Yet Engelman somehow managed to manipulate several women in his life into taking part into this elaborate murder for money scheme. After divorcing his first wife, Ruth Ball, he continued to give her money and dental care, and they still hooked up. Ruth's new husband, James Bullock, was also one of Dr. Engelman's patients. Not long into the marriage, Bullock was shot dead. Police suspected that the doctor and or the grieving widow had some part in it, especially when Ruth collected a $64,000 insurance policy. However, Engelman had an alibi, and there was not enough evidence against Ruth. He later used his powers of persuasion on his dental assistant, unfortunately named Carmen Miranda, to convince her to marry a man she didn't particularly care for, Peter Holm. When the bridegroom ended up dead, courtesy of a bullet to the head, his widow was paid ten grand of a $75,000 insurance uh, to Engelman. When Arthur and Ver, uh, Vernita... Gerswell were shot to death in 1977. Their son, Ronald, inherited about a quarter of a million dollars. When he, too, was shot dead a couple years later, that money went to his new wife, Barbara, as did a $190,000 life insurance policy. Before marrying Ronald, Barbara had been dating Engelman. There was also a business associate of Engelman's, Eric Fry, who ended up at the bottom of a well that blew up. Who, uh, Fry, who had recently married yet another of Engelman's former girlfriends, was a partner with Engelman in a failing drag strip venture. Sophie Barrera threatened to take Engelman to court over the 14500 he owed her for lab work she'd undertaken for him. A car bomb quickly put a stop to any need for Engelman to pay up. Police have been struggling to prove their mounting suspicions about Engelman before they received help from an unlikely source, Engelman's current wife, also named Ruth. He had an unsettling habit of bragging about the murders to, hidden, er, to her in bed uh, while they were having sex. She also began to worry that her homicidal husband would eventually target her. She agreed to wear a wire to record the evidence for authorities. After more than two decades of uh, mayhem, Engelman was ultimately convicted of five murders and allegedly admitted to committing even more, but no one knows for sure how many. It takes a certain kind of person to be able to kill another human being, he bragged to a reporter. Engelman died in prison while he was serving multiple life sentences in 1999 from complications from diabetes.